ladies and gentlemen. Got a little bit of Dana. Dana. In my background. How you doing? It's been a long while, hasn't it? Nah. Nah. The hell none of that. My plane's in about an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, love at first sight. Dana Dane. I am glad that we're having this opportunity to chit chat. And the talk, we got a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of things to talk about. I'm not going to be on very much longer this evening because I am running on fumes. And ladies and gentlemen, it's very seldom that I'm running on fumes, like I have been the last two days. However, a lot of work is being done. So the first thing we want to do is we want to show you. I don't know which one it is. I think it might be this one. Oh, wait a minute. It ain't that one. It's uh, over here. Consumer, no, where you at? Document, come on. Application, no, that's not the passport. I, I did the application for the passport. You know what? Nah, because I can't show you that because that would be wrong. Uh, they, they get mad if I'm sitting up here doing videos on passport and I'm about to get one. Um, well, they're not doing passports right now because they're doing this and doing that and doing this. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. The government cannot suspend the passport process, even if they wanted to. They don't have the authority to do that. Yes, they're going to be running a little slow, but they cannot deny you access to a right. You have the right to travel abroad. They made the statute that says you need this to go abroad. So, sorry, Charlie. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pull and open up the complaint that we've been working on. And let's see if I can find it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, while I'm looking for this complaint that we've been working on, I need to explain to you guys. Now, the other one with the judges, the complaint that was up, I'm told that the printing was blocked. It should not have been blocked, ladies and gentlemen, because I purposely, when I placed the document online, unblocked it on purpose. Then all of a sudden I go and I check the document is blocked. I'm sorry that people be messing with my, okay? I apologize. I, I, I can't, you know, stupid is what stupid does. Come on now, y'all know what I was talking about. Y'all know what I was going through. So I can't stop them from doing what they do. Y'all know how stupid they is. Now, what we're going to do, I want to go into the mortgage fraud claim. I don't know if this is the recent document. This is not the one that I, I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to do you guys a favor. Let me show you the favor I'm going to do you. Where you at? This one right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put up the document temporarily because I haven't finished. This is, not the, this is not the document we're working with. I'm going to put up the latest document. Okay? This is not the one we're working with. This is the one that we were doing previously where we hadn't taken care of a lot of additions, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that one as this one and that one as, you know, and so forth, okay? But I just went through and I made sure everything was in its place. The one that I'm going to put up, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much lock it. I just, I'm going to put it up temporarily so you guys can go over it, so that you guys can read it, so you guys can see what's going on with it. You know what I'm saying? Day to day, could you tell them what I'm saying? Okay, got me? Good, because uh, somebody needs to save me. So we're going to go here to this one because this is the one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot going on. I've been on the phone all day talking to the IRS. You're talking to the IRS? Yeah, we had some IRS business to talk about. They, I just want to make sure things go smoothly with the new fat packs. Ladies and gentlemen, for the next week and a half or so, I will be doing updates on the programs for the new fat packs because a lot of people are not clear on the fat pack. What I will do for you right now while this document is pulling up, because I'm trying to open the other document, while that document is pulling up, we went to the Department of the Treasury website. Let's see. Nope, it's not here. i got to see if it's... That's that one. Let's see. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not the one I was working with, but I'm looking for... I'm not looking for this, but this is the SACCOM. This is the conditional acceptance 
notification that we have at the end of all of our emails. We decided to, I don't know why this thing is still playing games like that. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, if you click here, start your own project, start your own trust, build your own trust. All of the information you need is here on this site, through this site, and the link that it takes you to. Look, creation is only the beginning. A, simple trust education. Uh, sample trust education. How do you get to the sample trust education? Where is that going to take us? Ladies and gentlemen, you guys want to know where the sample trust education will take you? Just click on it. You'll find out for yourselves. The information that's there will take you to all the trust documents. Just that quick. I would go there and I would download everything that's in there. Literally, I just download the whole section. Why? Because this is all the information on trust. Anybody ever want to come to you and tell you what a trust is? Trust me. All the information is right here. Okay? It really is that simple. Okay? And when I say it really is that simple, I do mean it really is that simple. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, I've been wanting to show that to you all again because we showed it to you the first time. Been wanting to show it to you all again. Now, I want you to take a look at this document, and I want you to take a look at this document. They look the same, don't they? Ladies and gentlemen, they are not the same. Okay? This is the updated one where we went in and made some corrections. And I will save this as that so that you'll have that. However, what I do need you guys to understand is what we put in here. This is, again, we're just making statements. However, you need to trust me. I'm about to break it down in a minute. Why? It is not completed yet. I, we are aware. Indeed, the government agencies are required to conclude matters presented to them within a reasonable time. Public bodies have a statutory duty to respond diligently to all record requests. Ladies and gentlemen, they have a constitutional duty to respond. Okay? Let's continue. Regardless of who makes the request, I don't care if you're the craziest person on the planet. I don't care if they call you a sovereign misinimacin. Okay? It doesn't matter. It says regardless, they got to respond to you. That's why they send out that general letter telling you that they'll respond in 60 days. Because they think that's reasonable. See, a reasonable time. Thus, government agencies, thus, government agencies, thus, government agencies have a duty to respond promptly to disclosures. You know, somebody said today, they said, excuse me, e, we got a problem. I said, what's your problem? They say, you know, you guys got them contracts online, and you know what, E, man, look, homie, we don't know how to access them contracts. Can you tell us how to access them, assess them contracts? And I'd be like, look here, mother, don't be calling me about that. You better go watch them videos. You've been doing too many videos for you to be sitting up here calling me, asking me about how to access them, assess some stupid contract. Go and watch the video, mother. No, that ain't what I said, y'all. That, that truly ain't what I said. Get out of here. We're going to go here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to access the contracts, you go to S, sorry, Sam A A Limited L I M O M I T E Z S A A Limited dot com. Sorry, I'm tired, and you guys, if you've been paying attention to me when I start transposing letters. That shows you how tired I am, because that shows you how slow my brain is working at that moment. Why? Because there's too much other stuff going on in my head right now. Trying to figure out, I, I'll get to you in a minute and explain. Ladies and gentlemen, here is SAA's website. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, no, this is still SACOM. Sorry, this is SAA's website. Uh, did I do something wrong? Yeah, I put, I put an N before the M. I told you that, that's the indication of how tired I am when I do stuff like that. Now what we're going to do is forward slash PDFS. PDF. And we're going to hit enter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, late and great Teddy Pendergrass.
give Teddy all the credit in the world. That man, Kasai. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're trying to get to, like somebody said, they wanted a copy of Bradley Christopher Stark's file, and they were actually demanding it of SAA. Ladies and gentlemen, SAA doesn't control the PDFs. I do. I'm not an employee of SAA. I don't run SAA. SAA is not my company. I only control the website because I'm the webmaster. I control the horizontal. You follow me? So all the contracts are listed here under contract. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a mortgage, send them the QWR and the complaint at the same time. When you get the complaint, download the QWR, fill it out. Everybody says, well, where is the new money order? I need to see the new money. You ignorant mother. I'm sorry. I apologize. I made and gave my word in 2012 that I was not going to help people with the money orders. And I'm going to give that word again because I'm tired of that's all people want to talk about is money orders. If you want to talk about money orders, if you want to talk about this discharging debt, go someplace else. I don't do discharging debt. Ladies and gentlemen, you better take a look at the videos and see what I cover. No, I'm not upset, I'm not angry, I'm not mad, I'm just tired. I know you're desperate, but you're desperate enough to do something just to be doing it without doing any research. Don't give me that bull crap about you've done the research, because I know you haven't done the research, especially by what people are requesting. How do I know people haven't done the research and they're asking about our style money orders? You see how many videos I did explaining the our style money orders? Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh, no, we don't want to go to that YouTube. We're going to go to this one. Gateway to the Republic with Mr. Rob Ryder. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to YouTube. We're going to do just a search on YouTube. Why? Because there's a lot of people who are claiming things aren't the way they are when they are what they are, but not the way they thought they were. Oh well. Life goes on. Give me one second. Give me, give me, give me one second, y'all, while I pull this up. Recharge. And if right, you read so that, you should find out. It, it, but the SS5 it. forms and SS4s. Hey, hold on now. Hold on. One's for the employer, one's for the employee. I said, Rob, this... hold on. Okay? Give me a second. This is my this is my channel, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, our five money order. Enter. I'm not even gonna put Eon. Some of you guys are trying to Eon. Don't do that. Just type in our style money orders. Now, as I told you before, everybody and their grandmama had their style money orders. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, you don't start here. You don't start with the last video. You want to learn about them, then you go all the way. Come on now, YouTube. This ain't it. This ain't got nothing to do with me. This is Eon. See that right there? By Eon. By Eon. This is 2019, but you ain't even going there, okay? Okay, you're not going to go to 2018, 2019 tender of payment with the use of the hour stop money order. I know you want to do that. I know y'all want to go there, but y'all don't go to those, okay? You Come on now, all the way down. And they're, they're still on the internet because there are quite a few people who left them up on their site. Quite a few. So give it a second because it's going to be the same thing with y'all when y'all trying to look. All of these other videos, this ain't got nothing to do with our style money orders. So you don't look for those. We're looking solely for the our style money order. And I should have put it in quotations. I should have put it in quotations, y'all. What I'm going to tell you to do, you know, I like this song. I will never try to change you, change you. I will 
sorry. It's all right here. I have a lot of respect for this man as a result of this song. Before that, I really didn't care because, you know, he was uh, Oprah Winfrey. I remember when she first introduced him. I was watching that Oprah Winfrey show when she introduced him. And everybody was, they knew who he was, but I didn't. And because she pumped him up to being better than what he was, uh, I had enough. Ladies and gentlemen, what I will tell you is you can't go all the way back here for our style money orders. You're not going to find them. I don't see a single one talking about our style. So let me do you another favor. No, 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 no. Those of you who know about this already, who already know about these money orders, <sighs> bear with us just for a moment, okay? I'm putting it in quotations. I'm not going to do it, Eon, because when I first did the money orders, I wasn't using the name Eon. Watch this. Redress R I G H T. I went by Redress Right. Don't worry about it. I will never try to change you, change you. I'm sorry. Save you, save you. Say on everything I pray to that I won't break your heart. I'm lonely, lonely. Now you see these videos right here? Eon's money order. Do you see? 430 2012. This is what I was looking for. Remember I said that there are people who put the videos up? Okay. Our style money orders and the closed checking account update. I would go back to 2012, ladies and gentlemen, because that's where the explanations were. The new money orders. Equitable redemption and why such is important. And equity tender of payment. Ladies and gentlemen, you all need to pay attention. You need to understand what gives you the right to do that. So wait, hold on. I'll be there when you get lonely, lonely. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep the secrets that you told me. And, and, your, and your love is all you told. I don't care about your love, okay? Because I will break your heart. Ooh. Because what I'll do, I won't break your heart. Now, sorry. That's how, oh, oh ladies and gentlemen, this is one of those songs. Y'all just got to bear with me because of my music. Y'all know where we're going, okay? Sorry, I apologize. That's my boy, Stevie, in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, you see right here, transferable tax credit. Okay, what this video is designed for is to help you understand a couple of things. I don't just talk about one thing. Okay, I don't just talk about the hour money orders. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where everybody got to know me is from mortgages, money orders. First set of videos. How I paid off my mortgage without spending a dime. That's what caused me to do the videos in the first place because I figured people needed to know that information. Those of you, those of you, pay attention. Those of you now who are going through the problems and you want to use the money orders, you haven't done enough research, so pay attention. Uh-oh. Give me one second to highlight this. Let's do... No, 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 no. I got to do this this way. Uh, trust me, you got to understand in a minute. I just, I have to take it slow. We're going to do, not keywords, but parallel search. And if you really want to hear, I do. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to know, y'all. Say, do the what? Say what? Stevie Wonder, y'all. Says, uh. Now, do you see? It said the term was too short before. So I put it in a question. 
or a statement, excuse me, not a question, must have, not he, must have an interest in the collateral. Pay attention. Just got to understand, I have to do it this way, or if I had done it straight out and just come straight to this point, you would never have paid attention to it. So many of you would have taken so many shortcuts. This is not an issue of shortcuts. It's an issue of you doing the research. And if you really, really, really want to understand anything before security interest may attach to collateral, the debtor must have rights in the collateral. Now, you see how it says rights in the collateral? Pay attention to this one. It has an interest only in the collateral. Wait a minute. Got to have an interest in the collateral? Ooh-wee. Hold on. Finally, the debtor must have rights in the collateral. Ooh-wee. The debtor must have rights in the collateral. Wait, weren't you talking about the debtor uh, not having rights in the collateral? That's right. But we're talking about, at this point, having rights in the collateral. Hold on now. First, unless the secured party possesses the collateral, there must be a written security agreement signed by the debtor and containing the description of the collateral. Second, the secured party must have given value to the debtor. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Whew. Hold on, wait, we got, we're going to show you at least two more. Further, in order for the security interest to attach, the debtor must have rights in the collateral. The trustee admits that the debtor had an equitable interest in the airplane prior to the filing of bankruptcy. Third, the debtor must have a right in the collateral. Okay, so the debtor, all of you are debtors. Don't worry about it. Public debt. All of you are members of the public. You're all debtors. Public debt. Shh, shh, just follow me. I don't want to hear it. No, I ain't. I mean, don't, shut up. All of you are debtors. It's a good thing you want to be a debtor. Man, debtors are the richest people on this planet, and you don't realize that this whole planet ran by debt. The treasury is ran by debt. It's called the Bureau of Public Debt. That's what keeps the world going round, is debt. So you want to be in debt. Legal tender is not money. It's evidence of debt. Go back and read the note. This note is legal tender. Good for the payment of all debts. It's evidence of debts because it can only be used to pay debt. So debt is a good thing. Interest in the collateral. Got that? All right. C-O-N-G-R-E-S-S-R-E-G-U-L-A-T-E-S-M-O-N-E-Y-N-C-U-N-O-N-I-O-N-E-D-S-T-A-T-E-S-O. E D E S T A T E S. Oh, that's the name. See, I told you that's what happens when I'm tired. All right. Interest in the collateral. Now, Congress re regulates money in the United States. You guys know that, right? Congress has the authority to regulate money. They are engagements to pay with lawful money of the United States, and Congress is empowered to regulate the money. Wait, hold on. There are engagements to pay with lawful money of the United States and Congress regulates the money, it cannot therefore be maintained that legal tender acts impair the obligation of contract. Pay attention, y'all. Legal tender acts do not impair the obligation of contract. Technically they do, but they say they don't. This is 1870. Pay attention. Okay? We want to know about the regulating of money because that's what we put in there, right? For example, only Congress can appropriate money from the Treasury of the United States. You cannot appropriate money from the Treasury of the United States. In other words, you cannot tell the Treasury to print money. Only Congress can do that. Appropriated funds are public funds. Appropriated funds are... Wait, hold on. Did y'all just hear that? Hold on. Appropriated funds are public funds. Now, didn't I tell you guys are members of the public debt? You're members of the public, right? Hold on. Shut up. I know some of you are starting to get it, but shut up. Let me finish. That Congress allocates for the general revenue of the United States government pursuant to its powers under Article 1, Section 9 of the Constitution. Article 1, Section 9. Y'all better go look that up. Article 1, Section 9. Y'all better go look that up. Article 1, Section 9. Wait a minute. If I'm a member of the public and these are public funds, then I have an interest in those funds. Wait a minute, if I have an interest in those funds, hold on, I said, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, you guys, we ain't got there yet, I know this mother is a genius, ain't he, I am not a genius, what I am is a person who has received understanding of things, 
without having studied them, from where else would I have received such understanding? I refer to it as just that, understanding. I didn't know it yesterday, but I, man, I understand it now. So let me explain something to you, ladies and gentlemen. You must have an interest in the collateral. You must have some ownership interest in the collateral. You are a member of the public and the public funds comes from the public. You pay taxes. You have an interest in the public debt. That, that, I, 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 does it mean you get to go and use up all the public debt for your personal business? But it does mean that government is supposed to be taking care of your necessities. Why? Because they have an interest in your public health. Government cannot be funded if you are not publicly taken care of. So long as you are a member of the public and you announce that you are a member, I'm a member of the public, you admit mother, you're here to serve my interest. Not my interest as a person, but my interest as a member of the public. And as a member of the public, I have the right to live. I have the right to pursue happiness. I have the right to due process of law. And I also have the right to self-determination. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do one more thing. I want y'all to see this. We're going to go and we're going to type up U.S. Passport. U-S-P-A-M-A-S-M-S-M-A and Pima Oma Oma Matuba. Now, now pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. U.S. Passport, just like an airport, just like a transport, okay? Just like a carport, all associated with water. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, I didn't make this up. This is their port of call. This is their port authority. This is their port laws. Okay? Pay attention. We're going to go. I, I don't want to go to all of these places. I just want the application. Okay? I just want the application because I need to show y'all something. So give me a second while I go pull up the application. Okay? You know, I should go to syllable. I didn't even click on anything, and it did it all by, but it's taking me half passport. Ah, it took me here. Give me a second. I'll be back with the passport. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just putting in some information because i got to get Michael Jackson in the background. He's talking about working day and night. I guess he must be understanding what I've been going through. Airfield, date of birth. Why, why are you worried about the date of birth? Oh, okay. You want the four. I put uh, 47. No, I'm not born in 1947. I'm just for demonstration purposes, ladies and gentlemen. Lord have mercy. Um, let's see. One, two, three. What? S T R E E S T D T R E E T. Told you when I start mixing letters up like that. Oh, it put it in all caps. Ain't that interesting? No, we ain't using that address. Come on now. We gonna put. Nah. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Because you got me here, here. Yeah, we can, we can do that. We can do bread roll. Okay, I can leave it like that. No. Oh, no, we're going to let that be the permanent address. We don't want this thing going through all that. We're going to put W-A-L-T-E-R-P-A-R-K-E-R. -E -E you see, on the application, when I do it, it's not all caps. But when they do it, it's all mama caps of my mama. And we're going to put E E O N at Yahoo. I don't know who E E O N at Yahoo.com is. Just put in this, comma. Just, oh, you can fill out the passport application online. That's what this is all about. Come on now. Get, 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 get out of here. Nobody asked you about that. Get out of my way. All right. Uh-oh, it don't want me pasting it, y'all. Ow! Oh! Michael Jackson got me working day and night. All right, you can skip ahead if you want, because all I'm going to be doing is work number 5459988. 
six six three two one. Yeah, six six two one. And we're gonna say it's a cell phone, and we can go next. Cause it won't let me go any further until I do all of this. Travel plans. I'm leaving zero six two zero two two. Got me working. Okay, and I'm returning on zero eight five. No zero five two zero two two. Okay, that's the travel plan. And countries I'll be visiting. Let's see, why don't we do C H I N A? I plan on visiting China. How's that? China! That's where I was going. I was going to China, mother. Okay. There was something I need to show you. That's why I'm going through all this. I could have just pulled up my copy of it. Uh, we want both the passport and the card. Why would I say none? That don't make no sense. Go all through all of this with, and say none? Okay. Oh no, y'all ain't giving no credit card information. No, I ain't giving y'all no credit card number. Uh uh. Oh, book number. They oh they asked if I had one previously. Whew. Oh no, I had none. Oh, that's why I said no. I didn't read the whole thing. Whew. I apologize, y'all. I should be reading, huh? I guess I'm trying to be like y'all. If completed by a third party or parent of a minor, complete the form contest application, not yourself. Okay? I can't show it to you guys because it's going to take too long. And I got, um, he looks up for the second date. And dad's up in the stand. Give me a second to see if I can pull up the passport. The run, the fly. There ain't no bigger than George Strait, everybody. After the game, he said, Dad, I thought you had a plane to catch. He smiled and said, Yeah, son, I did. You know what life's not? Life's not the breath you take. I'll be right back, y'all. The breath that gets you through the day. They ain't what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, miss the point. You just might miss the point, ladies and gentlemen, trying to win the race. This is the application. I have not amended this. Normally, I would amend it, but I agree with this. I declare in the penalty of perjury all of the following. Pay attention. All of the following. I am a non-citizen national of the United States. I can put a line through a citizen. I'm a non-citizen national of the United States and have not performed any of the acts listed under acts or conditions on page four of the instructions of this application. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no page four. Take a look, one and two. <clears throat> I have not knowingly or willfully made false statements or included false documents in support of this application. I promise you, I haven't made any false statements in this document. Because I don't mind, as long as it says I'm a non-citizen national, United States, I don't mind being a national. Doesn't say nationalize, does it, in the 14th Amendment? Of course it says nationalize. But I'm not born in the United States, ladies and gentlemen. I was not born in the United States. I was born in the state of California. The state of California is a well, sovereign, sovereign country. Now, we, we got something we need to talk about. I have not knowingly or willfully made false statements. And the photograph attached to this application is genuine. Excuse me? How could the photograph be genuine? I can't testify to that. I have no idea where that photograph came from. Current photo of me. I don't know who the me is. I have read and understood the warnings on page 4 and the instruction of the application of this form. Like I said, I don't mind signing this. Because I'm not doing anything wrong. Of course I reserve my rights. That's why I take care of putting void in my address. I don't mind telling them that. You're not going to force me to agree to something unless it's absolutely positively duly necessary. So let me tell you why we did this video. This is Johnny Gill and I'm saying I think they're using the theme for Here We Go Again. Okay, but this is yearning for your love. And I said Johnny Gill, I know this ain't Johnny Gill, but 
I apologize. <laughs> this is the gap band. But it is yearning for your love. You guys know yearning. Hey, gap band, we're going to turn you guys off for a moment. They're on pause, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's tell you why we originally did this video. I had a conversation with someone yesterday. That person was discussing with me a particular point. They were talking about, let me get rid of all of that too. Move out of the way. They don't want me to move it out of the way. Hold on. You know what? Oh, I don't know what that is. That This ain't even supposed to be here. This, this is not even, this is old. This is like stuck in the screen. Oh well. Here we go again. The same beat for yearning. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I did this video is for the following reason. I had someone have a conversation with me yesterday, and they brought up this, you know that, that, that non- citizen national passport that everybody's been talking about where there's no proof of any such thing okay non a state no it's not a non-citizen national it's a state citizen national can i ask you guys a question what the is a state citizen a state national citizen go ahead go ahead i'm not going to pull up yeah i'll do it but go ahead can somebody tell me what a state national citizen is watch this we're going to do a Google. S T A T E, state, national. Got it. I'm going to um, C I T I D E N. We're going to put state, national, citizen. I'm going to put national and state and citizen. I'm going to put those in quotation marks. Y'all don't mind, do y'all? Let's see what we get. Our state national status. Oh, a dot com site, a WordPress site. The power of state citizenship. Now, I would look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's justdoor.org. I would definitely go to the power of state citizenship. Understand exactly what state citizenship is all about. Pay attention because state citizenship has nothing to do with privileges and immunities. Only the 14th Amendment does that. Okay, American state national four slash citizen. Don't care. It's time for an uprising against Citizens United. Who cares about that? That's not what I, wait, hold on. What is a state national, oh, that's another one of them dot com websites. Why would I go to them to learn what, I'm looking for the official definition. Hmm, European Union member, state national citizen. Wait, this is the EU. Misuse of rights to family reunification. Wait, state national citizens. Did you know that Europe has state national? I didn't know Europe had state national citizens. So let's check out the European state national citizens. Because as I told them, there's no such thing as a state national citizen. But, hold on. You can create a state national citizen. What are you talking about, Willis? You can create a state national citizen. What are you talking about, Willis? You can create a state national citizen. How many times you want me to say it? That's what I'm talking about. Now, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. You can create a state national citizen. How do you create a state national citizen? It's not in law, but it is in law. Where is a state national citizen that in law? We couldn't find that on our first couple of searches. Well, ladies and gentlemen, okay, have you ever heard of a state national? Anybody? Who's heard of a state national in law? Anybody heard of a state national? I want to get, I'm going to do this immigration. This is an immigration document, okay? Misuse of the right to family reunification. This is an immigration document. I want this document. Why? Because it talks about the European state national. Okay? And this ain't my document. I didn't create this. This is on the European Union website. This is an official government website. So I, 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 I'm going to take it. Okay? So the fact that it talks about what we just talked about, that's what I want. And we're going to save you in here okay now 
ladies and gentlemen, all I want you guys to do is to understand, you have heard of a state national before. You just don't realize it. Let me show you the state national you've heard of before. Go ahead. You can put it in. You can put the information in the... Uh-oh. All right. This means I'm going to have to close this out when I finish. I didn't want to put you back up there. Uh, sorry. My mouse stick, and so the page stuck with me. <laughs> it got stuck. You better believe it got stuck. So get where you belong. Okay, now stay there. Don't mess with me no more. Uh-oh. I lost the page, y'all. It's gone. Because I wasn't. This is not the page I was on. Okay, let's see. State National. This is the page right here. All right. It did it again. That's a shame. Now, look, I'm not doing that on purpose, y'all. It took it completely away. What I was working on, it took it completely away. Yes, somebody don't want me showing y'all that, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, I was planning on showing this to you guys yesterday. And when I was planning on showing it to you yesterday, I can't tell you the amount of things that went wrong to keep me from showing this to you. And so I'm going to show it to you now. That's why I told you there's a reason I was starting this up. And that's why I waited until the end to show it to you because I just had to make sure that it wasn't just me. That while I'm doing these videos, they're monitoring it. Okay, let's get rid of the citizen. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard of a state national before. Watch this. I want to, I want to see if it pulls up underneath there, and it didn't. So let's see what it says about state national. State national insurance. Now, we all know about state national insurance company. Uh, look, state national companies incorporated so there's that state national but that's not the state national we were talking about ladies and gentlemen hold on let's see if we can find another state national you guys have heard of the state national that i'm talking about but we're not looking for those state nationals let's see if we can find it in the next one see the last time i looked it up it came up kind of quick but all of a sudden i go look it up now and it ain't one of the first three it ain't even nowhere near the first three Okay, since y'all wanna since y'all wanna be stupid, G U A R D. I'm just gonna get it to them since y'all keep messing with me. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard of the State National Guard? That's right. The State National Guard. They they try to call it the Army National Guard, but it is not the Army National Guard. The State National Guard is a militia under the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. Under the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. You have the right to be a national, a state national. The same as the state national guard has the right to be the state national guard. Look, pay attention. Your state national guard. Because the United States is a nation as a whole, no one state is its own nation. Technically, they are sovereign nations, but they are sovereign states, not nations. However, the national guard, state national, that's where you're going to hear the term and phrase state national. That's where it's official. In law, state, national, under equal protection, all men are created equal and endowed by their creators with certain inalienable rights. Among them are, okay, the Declaration of Independence says that you have the very same rights as they do. Now, again, the state national guard is authorized under the militia. The states are not authorized to have their own army. No state is allowed to have its own standing army. The United States Army, our military, is foreign to the United States. The state National Guards are not foreign to the state. They can be on state property. That's why they're called in for unrest. Yes, they moonlight as part of the United States military, but that's a separate capacity. So those of you who want to be state national, you can be state nationals, but you have to understand under what authority you get to be a state national. You can't just go out there and make yourself something without being able to explain who or what you are. That is your fault for not doing your research. Those of you who have been wanting to use the money order, want to just go out there and just write a money order because you think it's going to pay for something. When you haven't done your research to understand why they work, when they work. But you also haven't done your research to find out, hold on, because we're going to show it to y'all, because that's what I do.
Now you see I put the word money order? Let's put this. I put in private money order to pay a debt. Some of you want to jump off that cliff because you think you know what you're doing because you ain't did your research. So that's what these people did. Rather, the plaintiff received a private money order from the bank on the strength of the promise of the federal government to repay the loan if the plaintiff defaults. So this one has the strength of the federal government. What is yours on the strength? Oh, mine's on the strength of my credit, really? In the payment of debt, the plaintiff issued a CAC coupon money order note for his government created set the case trust account rather than tendering any currency recognized by our government the coupon money order note was for the full amount of the alleged debt twenty five thousand dollars and made payable to the department of the treasury for credit acceptance this must be 2012 this must be 2012 no nope, 2019 somebody watching a 2012 video ladies and gentlemen credit acceptance that's when we were putting on the money orders back then. We updated them because why? It was necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, there are certain things you can't do anymore. Let me explain. I'm going to do you a favor. Do your research. Says it's a current, her currency not recognized by our government. That's a lie. Because our government recognizes bills of exchange. But of course, this individual didn't know that. He could not explain that. The court gave him a presumption, a currency not recognized by our government. Well, ladies and gentlemen, currency does not need to be recognized by our government to be a lawful payment between parties. It's a private contract. The parties determine what value is. The parties determine what is payment and what isn't payment. The courts don't get to determine what a payment is. But guess what? The court gets to highlight this one of them sovereign citizens talking about a CESTK trust account. Didn't get that information from me. They took what I was doing and they adopted it, made it theirs. That's fine, but didn't do any research. Department of Treasury, okay, they just documented that they have an interest in the Department of Treasury. But they didn't explain anything they didn't know. Wait, hold on. The order at issue here is not an order to pay a debt, but an order to pay money arising from the status origination. No, we don't care about that. Uh-oh, imprisonment for a debt. Nobody cares about that either. Okay, in other words, if you owe money to a person or a company, you can obtain a court order directing a bank to take money out of your account to pay off your debt. I don't know what that's for. Why would why would I obtain a court order directing my bank? <laughs> oh, they can obtain an order from the court. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I don't keep my money in the bank. You ain't gonna take nothing from me, but not without my permission. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I put in money order. He attempted to pay the fine with a private money order. The IRS refused to accept the private money order as payment and sent a notice of levy. Plaintiff sent a packet to the IRS. Ladies and gentlemen, again, you must know what you're doing. So as I just told you, I gave you the biggest hit in the world. You have an interest in the money of the United States. You have an interest in the federal debt. You have an interest in the good faith and credit of the United States. Now do your research and figure out how to apply that. Since the plaintiff owes the county money, he received money, or excuse me, the received money was taken to pay the plaintiff's debt. The only problem is this ain't got nothing to do with money orders. It's, it's just money. They're supposed to be pulling up information, money orders. Uh-oh, involved an inmate request to send money to the alleged friend for the payment of unverified debt. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Additionally, Harris check June 2004, the Bank of America general checking account, and Harris as a repayment of a loan in order to pay personal debt obligations. It didn't give me nothing. 
let me explain something to you guys. I'm glad that they had this case right here, even though it doesn't do what I needed to do, is explaining something to you, but it does explain something that you all need to know. Ladies and gentlemen, when you do a money order, they have to show that the money order was invalid, that it was bogus, that it did not go through, that they attempted to negotiate it per the instruction. And they never do. Not one time have they ever shown that the bank refused the money order. They say they did, but they don't prove they did. So you guys have got to do your research. You don't get to come to me and ask me to explain this stuff to you. Well, you're explaining it right now. It took you almost an hour, but you're explaining it. Oh, God. Uh, no, don't care about the money demand. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this country is a debt company. That's why they, the courts make sure they mention it to pay off a debt. Because they have debt laws in the United States. Because it's a country founded on debt. What? All of the people who came to the United States from England had a debt they owed to the government. You guys, you guys must know that they were citizens of England. That means that they were required to pay taxes. Even if they left, they were required to pay taxes. So they owed a debt to that government. That's why the government over there taxed them when they got over here. Because they were British citizens. That's why they were taxed. Other than that, Britain had no control over North America. They couldn't tax anybody in North America. The only way they could tax them is because they were British citizens. Don't take my word for it. Go back and do your research. Because if Britain could just tax anybody they wanted to, why didn't they tax the Indians? Well, they did tax the Indians. Went ahead and scalped them and chopped off this and chopped off that and and and, and smallpox and, and chicken. They gave them everything. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Hill and the Fugees is who I couldn't remember when I was talking about the Braves and Bohemian Rhapsody. Their version of Bohemian Rhapsody, how I thought it was Lauren Hill, and I couldn't come up with her name because I was too tired to come up with her name. There are cases involving money paid to discharge of a debt that the taxpayer, instead of being paid directly to the taxpayer. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of cases of individuals being able to discharge their debt. You're just not able to find those cases. Do you know why you're not able to find those cases about individuals discharging debt with a private money order? Okay. Hold on. D I F uh oh This is the last one. You guys about to do your research after this. This is my job pointing you in the direction. One person sent me a text message or an email today telling me about how they like the fact of how I show people how to do the research, how to find the information. Most people can't think that along the same line because they have not been through enough court cases, enough court battles, enough court conversation, enough conversation with lawyers, enough battles with lawyers to be able to understand how these mother think. Well, I have. So let me show you how I think. The present action looks to a judicial appropriations of property in the hands of a creditor, retained as security for his debt, contracted in the purchase to the discharge of the debt, if necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, the property cannot be held as security, even if you wanted to use it as security, if it was for a loan. Now, if it's for a refinance, everything hinges upon the currency that was utilized. If you refinance the house or if you purchase the house for the first time, there is a escrow company. Go back and pull those papers. Go back and bring that escrow company and bring the president of the escrow company into that court. We want to know and have proof of what funds you transferred to pay. What was the currency that it was in? Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you, you will find that it was a wire transfer. Go ahead. Go ahead and look at all your escrow papers and see if they do not allow wire transfers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, since has, since when has United States currency been in the form of a wire? Go ahead. Congress has determined that United States currency can be in the form of a wire? Let's put that in here. C-O-N-G-R-E-S-S. -S.
no. Are you guys understanding the question that Congress has determined that U.S. currency can be in the forms of an electronic wire? Since when has an electronic wire been determined as U.S. currency? The statute further defines money transmitted as an entity that receives currency, monetary value, or payment instruments for the purpose of transmitting the same by any means, including transmission by wire, facsimile, uh, facsimile, fac fac facsimile electronic transfers, courier, internet, or through bills or payment of service. Now the statute says this, since when has Congress ever stated that money can be in the form of electronic wires? Where is that code where Congress says that it can be in the form of electronic wires because if you can do that, then the bank thing did nothing wrong. Unless they never told you. They never told you that they were going to loan you money electronically. Well, how do you get the document? The money was received electronically. Where is the proof I received this electronic transfer? What species of currency did it originate from? What was the original contract? But see, that's the problem. You guys are not asking these questions. Congress has not the authority to just create money electronically. That's what Bitcoin is. Well, they're getting ready to create the United States Bitcoin. I know. Ain't that interesting? Ain't that interesting? Oh, by the way, remember, many people are not understanding the Constitution. They keep thinking that the articles are part of the Constitution. Shame on you guys. The Bill of Rights or the Bill of Rights? Go take a look at the Bill of Rights. See if the Bill of Rights says anything about articles. I don't care. See if the people approve of those articles. Well, the articles are what gives the concept. Yes, Congress has the right to do that. Creating rules for setting up the judicial branch as long as it does not violate the Bill of Rights. But nothing in the Constitution gives Congress the right to create money out of thin electronic air. Don't go and repeat that phrase. I just made it up just now. Thin electronic air. Don't go about using that because then they'll sit up there and say, ah, oh, he said thin electronic air, just like they said vapor money. Nobody ever said anything about no vapor stupid money, stupid mother. Anyway, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network has issued guidance specifically clarifying that virtual currency exchanges constitute money transmitters under its regulations. Money transmitters. They can transmit money. Okay, so what form of currency was it in before it was transmitted? Pay attention, people. Find out from your escrow company and what species of currency the monies were in in order for them to have used to pay the sellers. Guess what, y'all? You're going to find out that they done squandled and squandled and they gotten over both of y'all, bamboozled and hoodwinked. Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. This is all about, wait a minute, they say they loaned me money. I don't have any evidence of ever receiving the money. Yes, I signed that, but I never received the money. I signed that because we had a deal that they would pay me. Okay? They say that, it, that the funds transferred and the seller got paid. And we were under contract, so if they didn't get paid, I could challenge that. And so because this is our contract, our contract has nothing to do with you, Your Honor. No, 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 no. You don't understand. This is our contract. So they're claiming that I owe them. As a result of our contract, I have the right to challenge that. Judicially, non-judicially, because this is a private contract, not a public contract, and you cannot deny me the right. 
to defend my right. No, I have the right to challenge the payment. They said they made a payment to me, and you're relying and taking their word. Well, I'm saying the moment you want to rely on their word, I have the right to object and to demand they provide proof that they made a payment to me in the form of a currency cognizable under the United States law. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. I mean, your whole ship. I, I, I was no, I'm sorry, I wasn't calling you a hoe. I mean, because that's what you is. But no, I was just, you know, trying to let you know that it ain't gonna work like that. You ain't gonna just just sit up here and tell me that, oh no, they right and I'm wrong. You had better prove to me I'm wrong. Hey, Whitney, is gonna take us on out of here, y'all. I, I want all of y'all to have a good day. She could have done better on this song, but as I listen to it, y'all, she did all right with this song. You know what I'm saying? Because she wasn't trying to sound like all the other people who did a song for you. You know? No, you ain't it just me. Gotta go, y'all. Take care of yourselves. You're treating me unkindly. No, 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 no. You know what I can see? Have a good day, y'all. Adios.